Alright guys, here we go. The best damn time to be a gamer has to be the fall of the year. So many titles are set to release. Time to make a decision on what will be your top games for the fall season. I have my top three picked out. Really excited to hear your feedback on what you guys are looking forward to. You know, investing 60 or 70 bucks for a game is not pocket change for anybody. So for me, I want to make sure I make those right decisions and pick up the games I'm going to get the most miles and dollars worth out of. I have a ton of things planned for my channel for the next few months. So I really hope you guys stick around and enjoy. Before I get into it too much, I want to tell you what's happening here in the background on my last video, the AN94 review. A lot of you guys led feedback on some weapons that I should certainly try out that I haven't. And this gameplay is with the ACWR. Got to give a huge shout out to my friend JL who mentioned to give it a go. He mentioned to use it with a heavy barrel, but I'm using it kind of negative with just the red dot sight. I actually found the heavy barrel kind of hindered the gun a little bit for the hip fire. So it didn't really suit my game stall, but I will tell you this gun is just freaking awesome. Again, another weapon I haven't had a chance to game with too, too much since I switched over to the PC for Battlefield. And I am liking this gun a lot as well. So let's get back to the subject at hand. What are your top three picks for the upcoming gaming season? You will have an endless amount of games to choose from over the next few weeks. For me, the number one pick for October will be Medal of Honor Warfighter. I will be picking this game up for PC and PC only. Really looking forward to what they're doing with the Frostbite 2 engine. The game looks great. I have seen some early beta and alpha videos on the game. There are some things I am concerned with the game in regards to some of the streaks that are in there. I am a not a huge fan of any kill streaks in the game whatsoever. I find they uh, promote camping and people try to work towards those streaks. So I really hope the streaks are not overpowered at all. The beta comes out tomorrow for the Xbox only, which is kind of disappointing. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, the game comes out in two weeks. What are they going to change with the beta? Not very much at all. All they're trying to do is just test their servers, in my opinion, to make sure the game runs smoothly on their servers. And then when they release it for all the platforms, it should be good to go. Or at least we hope it is anyway for that regard. From what I've heard, Medal of Honor 2010 was a really good single player game, but for me, single player is not what I buy a game for. I mean, you can basically beat any single player campaign in six or seven hours, whatever the case might be, but I buy games for multiplayer and multiplayer only, especially when it comes to first person shooters, and I'll talk about that a little bit further in the video. So I'm hoping the multiplayer in this game is great. And I'm hearing a ton of good stuff about it. It's just some of the kill streaks got me a little bit concerned, but that will be my number one choice. So what will be my number two? This might surprise you guys, but my number two choice that I'm going to pick up this fall will be Need for Speed Most Wanted. That's right, I'll be picking up Need for Speed Most Wanted for the PS3. I absolutely love the Need for Speed franchise. If you guys don't know, I am involved in the automotive industry and I absolutely love cars, trucks, whatever there is about vehicles, I love it. And so racing around, taking jumps, getting chased by the cops and just beating shit up. <laughs> There's something that uh, draws me to that. And these type of games are a great relief away from the first person shooters. As you all know, playing first person shooters cause a certain amount of stress, you might say, when things aren't going your way and they tend to get you uh, a little bit hot and under the collars. And I find when you play games like Need for Speed, you can sit back, relax, it's great fun. The soundtracks in these games are absolutely awesome and I really enjoy sitting back. I will be doing the full playthrough on my channel of the campaign with this game. So hope you guys will enjoy that. Now on to the number three choice that I'll be picking up this fall. This one will depend on a couple of things regarding the previous two games that I mentioned, but if Medal of Honor doesn't stand up for what I hope it's going to be, my number three choice will be Black Ops 2. Yes, that's right, a Call of Duty game, Black Ops 2. I really enjoyed Black Ops, the first one when it was out. I played the shit out of that game and I enjoyed it quite a bit until the kill streaks and things really started to get on my nerves, but I enjoyed the game mechanic. I really like how the characters and things move in the game. I will be buying that game for the PS3 only. I don't find the uh, Call of Duty franchise plays that well or has that big of a following on PC, so I will be playing that on the PS3, but that will rely very heavily on how Medal of Honor Warfighter plays out for me because I do want a first-person shooter that I can play online and you know if Medal of Honor sorry Medal of Honor Warfighter is not that great that will be my choice but of course <laughs> let's not forget that we still have two more expansion packs for Battlefield 3 
And I personally don't think we have seen the best of Battlefield 3 when it comes to the expansion packs. I think Aftermath is going to be absolutely great. Battlefield has a lot riding on that DLC, I think, because with Armored Kill, to be honest with you, I did not like it at all on PC or on PS3. I mean, the, the maps and things look great, but regards to how the game played out on it, just, uh, just didn't appeal to me. I like the infantry play a lot more. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a quick breakdown. Really would love to hear you guys feedback on what are your top three titles or top five. Maybe I missed something that you guys would like to see. So leave your comments in the comment section and give me some feedback on this. But for now, that's it for me. Take care, guys, and we'll chat to you all real soon.